In this video I'll show you how to use this software to make an image of your choice follow around your mouse pointer on your site. Now the first thing you need to do is have an image in mind that you want to follow have follow your mouse around. You just put the URL to it in here. So it's going to have to be uploaded somewhere. Now you can upload it to your WordPress blog in the media sec section or you can have it uploaded anywhere you want in one of the photo sites wherever it is. You just need the link to it to put in here. Now it's always a good idea to take one of your products and use an image for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this image and if you go to view image info this will give you the URL to the image. So copy that and then you're going to paste that in the software. Okay, now we need to know the width and the height of the image. So if we go down here, we'll see it's 265 by 350. Now if you want to make it smaller, all you have to do is take a multiple of that. So if I want to make it only half the size, I would do 132 by 175. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to do 132. And the height is 175. Okay, enter the duration in seconds the image should follow the mouse. If you leave it at zero, it's always, so it'll follow it around forever. Any other number will be the number of seconds the mouse will follow the image around. So let's say we only wanted to do it for the first 15 seconds. All you do is hit create. Okay, so I created a directory called image follow in here. Just click OK. Okay, and then we can exit here. Now, if you want to save the project, you can do that here. I'm not going to bother. But if you do, you can save your project and you're ready to go. Okay, so now what we do is we double click on code here. And all we have to do is just copy everything from here down and place it in our website. Now just for laughs, let's put it on the website that this is on. So what we do is we go in and modify the source and just paste it right to the bottom of the page. Okay, so this is the source here. I'm just going to put it right underneath, or right above the bottom body tag. I'll paste it right in there. And I'll save and upload this. Okay, now I'm going to reload this page. Okay, and there's my cursor following my mouse around. Now we specified 15 seconds, I believe. So in 15 seconds, this will stop following the mouse. You see that it disappears when you go to the right panel. And it stops at the edges. And now you see that the 15 seconds are up. And it's not following it around anymore. Okay, so that's a good way to brand yourself by having one of your product images follow your mouse around on your sites.